I'm gonna do a three random color challenge. Go to colorhex.com and click on colors and then co uh, random colors. And after that, you click the uh, bar generate random colors. And the first three colors that you see is the colors you have to use in your artwork. As you can see, I got my three colors. I got C2203E and I got DD8721 and 954EF7. So that is a kind of a reddish pinkish color and a more golden orange and a purple. So it was very different colors from one another, so I didn't really know what to draw, but then I decided to make something... I knew I wanted to do something fantasy because of the colors. I can't draw a realistic horse with those colors, it, it doesn't work. Well, it, it can work if you have imagination for it. But I decided to do, draw a unicorn with the, uh, these colors. So here I'm just uh, line arting and preparing everything and trying to figure out while I'm doing the line uh, work how to color, where the color should go and how to reach the best possible result as, as possible, basically. So just line arting in Coral Painter 5, which is the pro program I'm always line arting it in because it's much better than Photoshop. Uh, the lines are much more crisp and fine and I, I just love the program. I will never line art in Photoshop again because I had a hazard before to get the lines that I wished for and it didn't give me that. So I'm line arting in Coral Painter and coloring in Photoshop. So here I'm laying the base. It's the golden color and uh, I decided to have the reddish pinkish color in the main because uh, I wanted the golden to be in the fur on the body of the horse to make it um, more even and good looking. I don't think that colors would be as pretty if they were reversed. So uh, it's. And I also thought about that the lighter color should be underneath and the darker up above. Otherwise, it will look a little bit, I don't know, strange. I don't know but yeah so when you're doing this uh, challenge you are only allowed to use three colors but since it's digital and not markers where you can make shadows and highlights you are allowed to work within the spectrum of that color with one lighter version of the color and one darker to be able to draw highlights and shadows so yeah, and black and white doesn't ca count since it doesn't count in uh, the traditional art with the uh, markers. So you are allowed to work with black and white, which helps a lot. So, but you have to use those three colors with their uh, highlight and shadow, and you're not allowed to use any other color, just those three. So yeah, it was really a challenge to uh, try and figure out and where to put the purple. I decided early on it should be some highlights in the uh, main just to make it pop a little extra and give it a little bit more texture and uh, luster, I was gonna say. I'm, I don't know if luster is a word. It's in, Sweden. in Swedish it is, but yeah. So here you see I'm working with the pink on the muscle and making giving it a little snip and then making a little background with the colors with the um, reddish goldish kind of way and then I changed the line art into uh, the um, the reddish that I used so I put that on a multiple layer I think so it gave a little bit more of a pop effect and then I added some little sparkles in the red I think and the gave it the layer uh, effect so yeah so here is the finished result and it was a really tricky challenge but it was really fun to work in digital media and not traditional so yeah I really recommend this challenge it's really fun and yeah just go nuts
And here are, as usual, some previous videos I made, so check them out. And if you liked the, uh, the video, you can subscribe down below. And uh, I see you ne the next time, guys. Bye!